Today we got two incredibly skilled swordsmen going head to head. Luke Skywalker versus Samurai Jack. Who comes out on top? Well, let's find out. Eyes up. Stay sharp. Stay down. Final warning. I could do this all day. The son of the Sith Lord Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker set out to save Princess Leia from the Galactic Empire, became a hero of the Rebel Alliance. Luke began training to become a Jedi under the tuition of both Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda. After discovering his heritage, redeeming his father, became the leader of the new Jedi Order and brought the Jedi back into the galaxy, arguably making him the greatest and most powerful Jedi of all time. Also, for reference in this fight, we'll be using the Luke Skywalker scene Return of the Jedi and around that era. So, at and around the fall of the Empire. Now, even though he received very little formal training, only a few weeks of Yoda and little pieces picked up here and there, Luke Skywalker quickly became proficient in lightsaber combat. His fighting styles are based in Forms 1 and 3, which are defensive in nature, but he's most skilled with Form 5. This fighting style has his bases in Form 3, but combines the defensive nature of more aggressive tactics and philosophies, with the goal being to overwhelm opponents and end the fight as quickly as possible. This skillful blade even enabled him to defeat the Sith Lord Darth Vader on board the second Death Star, eventually overpower his father. Like his father, Luke also possesses a powerful connection with the Force. Now, just like with the blade, even though Luke doesn't have much formal training, he's displayed telekinesis, force chokes, force pushes, telepathy, and force sense, allowing him to fight even while blinded. Thus, we got one corner, the greatest Jedi of all time, Luke Skywalker. But, enter in the ring, a worthy competitor, Samurai Jack. Once upon a time, there was a great and prosperous kingdom, which was attacked by a terrible monster. Aku, the Shogun of Sorrow, destroyed the kingdom, enslaving its citizens. The young prince of the kingdom, Samurai Jack, was taken away in secret, trained by the greatest warriors and scholars of the ancient world to defeat this evil. Jack then made it his mission to find his way back to his kingdom to prevent Aku's dystopia. Throughout his travels, Jack became an infamous freedom fighter, protecting and aiding numerous civilizations and innocents terrorized by Aku's forces and other malevolent foes. From spending the majority of his life preparing to face Aku and constantly facing adversity in his quest to return home, Jack has honed his body to the absolute limits of human potential. He's strong enough to carry around massive boulders like they were nothing, kick a large monster into a cliff and actually manage to crack the cliff, and he's able to easily chop down whole trees with a sword. He's also incredibly durable, surviving so attacks of monsters, robots, and even taking point blank explosions. But where Jack really shines is his speed. He's incredibly acrobatic, can catch arrows and cut them in half in mid-air, and even blocked many gunfire with a sword. Samurai Jack is so fast, in fact, that he'll knock out six opponents in an instant, dodge gunfire, and even defeat several bounty hunters before a drop of water can hit the ground. Samurai Jack is also an expert fighter and a master swordsman, being able to easily dispatch minions, defeat other master swordsmen, and even fight against and single-handedly defeat hundreds if not thousands of spider robots. His sword is also insanely powerful in and of itself, being magical in nature and imbued with the spirits of his ancestors. It can also only be used for good, and as such, those who are evil cannot use it to harm those who are good. So who wins? Well, let's break it down. Now, both Luke Skywalker and Samurai Jack are two of the most skilled swordsmen out there. Before we get started, I just want to lay some ground rules. For starters, we're going to say that Luke's lightsaber isn't going to cut through Samurai Jack's katana, and Samurai Jack's katana can injure Luke Skywalker. Because honestly, like, if Luke could cut through Samurai Jack's sword, what would really be the point of this video? They clash at swords once, Luke cuts through the sword, Jack is left defenseless, and Luke wins. Where's the fun in that? Plus, there are actually some medals in the Star Wars universe that lightsabers can't cut through, especially Durasteel. And Jack's samurai sword isn't a normal sword, but being magical in nature. 
Secondly, we're going to say that bullets and blaster fire move at comparable speeds. Because honestly, we have absolutely no clue how fast blaster fire moves in a universe in Star Wars. And I really just don't want this video to come down to analyzing travel speeds of blasters versus bullets. I'd rather focus on these two heroes, let the more powerful, more skilled one come out on top. So with that being said, who wins? Well, first we got to take a look at is physicality. And honestly, there's no way that Luke is stronger than Jack. I mean, Jack has lifted up four robot spiders, and each one were larger than him. He's pushed over stone pillars and broken massive rocks. And with his sword, he sliced trees in half, knocked over giant monsters, destroyed robots, and even clashed with Mad Jack and swung swords hard enough to create sparks. With Mad Jack being his physical equal, and also being strong enough to slice a tree right down the middle. However, the question isn't, is Luke stronger? It's, is Luke strong enough? Is he strong enough to fight against Jack? And the answer is yes. Because, you see, Luke is able to amp himself via the Force. And by doing this, he can match and actually overpower other characters of incredible strength, like Darth Vader. And while Vader might not sound like much at first, he is strong enough to easily punch apart solid armored combat droids with his bare hands and hold back blasts from rebel tanks and blast powerful enough to actually crater the Earth. Yet Luke did overpower Darth in their fight on the second Death Star. Now, durability isn't really going to be super important in the fight, seeing that Jack's sword will cut Luke and Luke's saber will slice up Jack, but I'll mention it anyways. Considering that Jack is prone to fight hand-to-hand -hand alongside a sword play, and Luke will throw stuff with the Force. Well, Jack is able to take point-blank explosions, have a 700-ton sumo wrestler belly flop down on top of him, and yet still be fine, and he's even fallen through the atmosphere from outer space, hit the ground, caused a massive explosion, yet just a few seconds later, walked away with no damage done. Luke honestly has nothing on that. Although I would say he's durable enough to take some of Jack's punches and kicks. He survived explosions that destroyed buildings. So I had a blaster shot that cleared the ground and sent him flying dozens of feet in the air, yet Luke wasn't hurt. And even when Luke was out of his prime, he was still just fine after having a building drop on top of him. Luke has actually survived a crash from orbit as well. And while he was in a ship, Vader mentioned that only someone who was strong in the Force could survive such an impossible crash. However, the most important thing in this fight has got to be their speed and agility. Now, Luke is crazy fast, especially when he's using the Force to guide him. He's fast enough to disarm opponents before they could attack, dodge attacks from Darth Vader, who's able to move his lightsaber so fast, nothing more than a blur, and he's able to regularly dodge and deflect blaster fire. Luke is able to jump in front of blaster fire and then deflect it, deflect multiple blasts at once, and deflect blasts from oncoming speeder bikes. Luke's also got the force on his side. He's actually described force-induced combat awareness as occurring instinctively, without thought. He said that it enhances his reflexes, and he's even said multiple times that the force predictive combat ability, that is force-induced movements, are in fact precognitive. But believe it or not, I actually think Samurai Jack is the faster one here. He's outrun automatic gunfire, dodge attacks from a robot with multiple sword arms, and he even moves so fast they seemingly disappeared. He's able to deflect lasers, cut and catch arrows out of the air, and casually block a Gatling gun fire with his sword, just one arm. I can't believe that Luke could do that, at least not nearly as easily, even with his force powers. And there is the famous showing where Samurai Jack was able to defeat several bounty hunters before a drop of water could hit the ground. And once again, Luke has never shown he's able to move this fast, even with enhancing his speed with the force, at least not before he became Grand Master Luke. So yeah, Samurai Jack is significantly faster, and Jack has proven this on several occasions. In fact, the only thing that is preventing Luke from instantly being speed blitzed by the Samurai is the fact that the Force is precognitive in nature, allowing him to know when attacks are coming before they ever do. It's actually this Force precognition that allowed Luke to make the shot that blew up the Death Star, alerting him at the exact right moment to fire the shot when the targeting computer failed. So, basically, Samurai Jack has got the edge in everything physically, being stronger, faster, and more durable. But skill in their swords. Well, Luke is stated to be the greatest Jedi of all time. There's only a meaning 
that he is the greatest lightsaber duelist of all time, too. But honestly, at the time of Return of the Jedi, he's not quite there yet. You really need to include Luke from the expanded universe in order to argue that he is the all-time greatest. And we're just keeping it to the Disney canon. Now, that isn't to say that Luke isn't insanely skilled. He's had more training than many people realize. Training Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda, two of the greatest Jedi of all time. Trained gladiators and leaders of warrior cultures. And even is trained by himself for hours on end. Luke's also an exceptionally fast learner. Just naturally gifted, especially with his strong connection to the Force. And with this skill, he's fought against Boba Fett while blind. And Boba is someone who's legendary for hunting down and killing Jedi. He's held his own against multiple manga guards at the same time, which are doors that can get the likes of Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker trouble, and fought even with Darth Vader, and actually ended up beating Vader. And just for comparison, Darth Vader is one of the greatest swordsmen in all of Star Wars. Is able to regularly fight against and kill multiple enemies at the same time, even Jedi Masters, it's even said that there's never been another Force user who can use a lightsaber as rapid or as lethal as Darth. So even though Luke does get kind of ragged on for not having a lot of training, he does know what he's doing in a fight. It's more skilled than he looks. On the other hand, Jack's actually been training how to fight for literally his entire life. And he's ridiculously skilled. He's able to fight against several fighting ring champions at once. He's defeated other trained fighters in swords fights single-handedly defeated hundreds, if not thousands, of spider robots, and despite being outnumbered, Jack still managed to defeat the daughters of Aku. Luke has never shown such a high-level skill, even though he's a capable fighter, and I would say that Samurai Jack has got him outclassed. Meaning that if Luke wants to win this fight, he's going to have to seriously rely on his Force powers. So just what is Luke capable of doing with the Force? Well, Luke rarely abuses the Force like Darth Vader, and excessively uses it in a fight, but it's still worth mentioning, especially his Force push. He's able to send people flying backwards with a push, sometimes multiple people at once, and Luke can actually lift some pretty heavy weight with the Force. During his training, he very nearly lifted the X-Wing out of the water, so it'll stop and hold 10-20 tons of rock, and also managed to open sealed blast doors that even that even thermal charges have issues denting open. So end of the day, who wins? Well, I can actually see that Luke's force telekinesis being a saving grace in this fight. And combined with Luke's force amped strength, he should be able to contend with Jack's greater strength. If his precognitive abilities, plus Luke's force speed, we have a fight against Jack's own speed. But at the end of the day, I think Samurai Jack's physical superiority is still going to lead him to victory. Jack is still stronger, he's still more durable, and he's still a whole lot faster. Jack's also the more skilled fighter, and since Luke doesn't tend to spam force powers and instead relies on his lightsaber, that's going to be a great advantage for Jack. End of the day, Luke Skywalker is a tough opponent. If we're using an older, more experienced version of Luke, he'd win. But here, Jack is physically superior and is still the better fighter, and I don't think Luke's force abilities are going to be enough to single-handedly overcome all that. Samurai Jack wins. But, what do y'all think? I would love to hear your thoughts. Sound off in the comments down below. Also, be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, turn on notifications, join the Fanco army, and I will see you next time.